Uh, hi everybody. Um, my name is Carrie. I am Jeff Bull's wife. Um, I'm on here because we were talking about um, about getting another side to like what it was like for someone outside of kind of like being married to someone with schizophrenia. And also, just to let you guys know that, you know, I'm alive, I'm okay, because I know he told you about the car accident and everything that we went through, and, you know, and stuff, and so, and I'm not a, a, a delusion or hallucination or anything, I'm actually a real person. Um, but yeah, if, you know, coming from back then, you know, if I knew... When I knew now, I think things would have been different. In a sense that, you know, I wouldn't have kept it from, his, you know, our, our folks and his folks, you know, all of our folks and our siblings and, you know, family and stuff. Because, you know, I came up with the structure on if you were labeled crazy, okay, um, that would be harder for you, so you didn't want to really label someone you loved, uh, crazy and stuff, and so, you know, I didn't want to do that to him. So I think like my best advice is if you ever think something's off, you know, don't ever be afraid to go and and talk to people and stuff, you know, <clears throat> because it built up to the point where like we were just fighting all the time and, you know, and part of it was that I was going through my own stuff too you know I was getting I was suffering through um, really bad bad depression and uh, causing harm to myself and things like that I'm not in a good place and uh, so when you're like that you can't really see the things that are going on on the outside of it all and and things like that so the next thing I would say is you know you have to take care of yourself you have to take care of yourself um, so you know get the counseling go to doctors um, do all those things because you can't help anybody if you are not well in that sense you know and I know like I've grown a lot since then I always told Jeff like I looked at the car accident as a point of us being able to restart and things like that you know People always think that I should be angry with him, that I shouldn't like him, that he hurt me. How could I possibly be, you know, that way? And it's hard for me to always tell them in the sense of, of words, because I'm not good at words and things, but it's like, he's my best friend. And... He was going through an illness. Now, I got hurt and I was confused and upset and things like that. But I knew it wasn't him. In the sense that he's never, like done anything to hurt me ever before 
So that made a difference. It really did make a difference. You know, if, if somebody's, you know, doing DV, um, that's a different scenario, right? Like, if they're always hurting you, and then you get hurt majorly like that, that is a time for you to reevaluate and things like that. But with someone like Jeff who like didn't really hurt flies like like he doesn't like hunting he doesn't like and you know we both came from parents and grandparents who were very skilled hunters and things like that and he just didn't take it up and and things like he's a serious you know wouldn't hurt a fly kind of person so, in that aspect, I could have sat there and thought about it. Now, don't get me wrong either, um, that during that time that I was in the hospital recovering, I did get counseling. Uh, that was the first thing that I asked my doctors for. That was the first thing that came out of my mouth. Because I knew there was going to be trauma that was attached to it. And we worked a lot. You know, we worked on a lot of things. And, you know, it made me being able to see things a lot clearer. We worked on a lot of my depression issues and things that I was able to see more uh, brighter. Um... Because when you get really depressed, you do get that, you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And it's there. It is there. I promise you, it is there. It doesn't seem like that, but... It's a thing that I always try to keep in my mind on dark days. Because... I still get depressed and things like that. I still get upset that, you know, X, Y, and Z. Because um, it's a hard life. Um, not just living with someone with schizophrenia. Because, you know, he has his, his problems. I have mine. And so it's a hard life. And so, you know... You, you gotta just remember, this shall pass. This too shall pass. The, the rain never lasts forever, right? The rainbow does come out at the end and things like that. And, you know, it's something also I try to also to do is, you know, wake up and see my blessings. Because it can be hard. You know, I am blessed that... You know, nothing really, really serious happened. I was blessed to recover quickly, in a sense. Like, the doctors, I remember, were shocked how, how fast I was recovering. Uh, I'm blessed that Jeff didn't get hurt during any of that things, that stuff. Um, we, he was, we were both blessed that, you know, he didn't get a lot of time like the the judge actually was actually really good um on hearing I think both of us because you know I had to do a victim impact statement and all that stuff and so he he heard us out so he wasn't able he you know he wasn't um gonna sentence him to do like jail and stuff like that which was a big blessing you know and, and, you know, things like that. But if you're somebody that is involved with somebody that has a serious mental illness. But I think the one thing that I would have told myself back then is take it serious. Take mental health very serious. Because when you don't is when it comes becomes very serious serious and I understand that you know you people with you know schizophrenia and everything they get that 
that stigma attached to them that they're scary, that they're that they're a loose cannon, that they're gonna go off at any moment, or something bad's gonna happen, or you know, and things like that. And I think you know him coming on here and all these other people that we've been watching on YouTube has really you know did a good job like in and I pray that you guys keep doing it because that stigma needs to go like in me and Jeff's case yes it became serious because again we we weren't taking either one of our health in serious and we weren't getting the help that either one of us needed and so it got serious um and and so now we know different and I always advocate to people that you you go you go to the doctors you go see the counselors you you know go to these places and if you can't like get on YouTube and look up you know these things like on psych to go and Dr. Julie and all these other places that you know, I have fallen into watching because that car accident made me realize what a pinprick I really, really knew about mental health that I knew basically nothing. And so these places were really helpful in, in discovering a lot of things, you know. So, I think, you know, I think that's pretty much all I want to say about it. So, yeah, um, hope, hopefully you guys aren't so upset that I didn't wear makeup and things like that. You know, I left it all at my sister's house. I was playing with my niece. Um, I was having fun, right? That's, that's the point of life is have fun. Um, to all those people out there that are suffering from schizophrenia, uh, my thoughts and love go out to you guys. I understand how hard it can be some days. And, you know, I, and I pray that you are well and that you will have a beautiful day. And uh, to everybody that is not schizophrenic, I wish that you have a beautiful day as well. And reach out and just give a little bit of love out there in this chaotic world we're kind of living in. So thank you for the time and God bless all y'all and love. Mwah. Bye.